Hey guys, how's everyone doing this lovely fine day? Uh, today I'm going to do a DIY of a floating desk that I saw on Pinterest. Um, now you can do the steps step by step as I do them or you can take the ideas and make them your own. Um, but right now I'm at Home Depot and I'm about to put my son in the cart. So come along with us. I'm going to, I'm about to get some wood, a couple of other tools and tidbits that I need. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so for a really sturdy floating desk, you would, I'm here in the uh, uh, brackets, shelf brackets. So we're gonna need this size, and that's the eight by 10, because these here that are six by eight, they're not gonna be enough to hold weight, even though they're small. So you're gonna need something that's kind of thick. And that'll fit the um, the uh, the wood. So, so then for the screws, you're gonna want to get um, for the sheet metal because it's for depending on the wall that you have. But most people have sheet metal walls. You're gonna get these ten by one and one fourth inch six pack because it's not a lot. And then you're gonna get for the wood screws for the wood, not too long. You're gonna get them about this size right here so that they go right through and they don't go out over the outside of the wood. So we're gonna get the wood right now. We're in the fun part of Home Depot. And, and what's that? And what's that uh, car? We're, that's to put the wood. This right here is to bring the wood up. We're in the wood section, guys. And down. So let's go to down. the wood that we need. Yeah, up and down, Chiquito. So we need for a shelf, and I mean, it's like basically, it's like I'm, ba I'm building a shelf basically, but it's a floating desk. All right, guys, so we're gonna make it turn into a desk. Don't worry, don't think that it's a shelf. It's not a shelf. It's gonna be at the height of a desk, and I'm gonna put a beautiful little stool underneath, and it's gonna be beautiful and dandy. We will see. I'm at the Home Depot. My Mass favorite spot. Stairs. Come on. Come Common on board, stairs. that's too long. Guys, <gasps> stairs. Stairs, look at that, guys. Stairs. Stairs. All right, so this is too long. It's one by 12, four foot common board. It's too long. I don't need something that long. I mean, I could have it that one, but it's just way too long. Um, it's just basically for my laptop. That's all it's for, because right now I have a bookshelf and it's wow. really frustrating to have to put everything Ooh. on the bookshelf and not have enough space. Like I have to constantly oh. put stuff away. Um, and it just doesn't work out. So let's go find another shelf. No. Be right back. All right, guys. So what ended up happening is we ended up getting these right here. These are the um, the brackets that the guy told me about. They're sturdier and they carry, they hold up to 160 pounds, I think. Yeah, 160 pounds. So these are going to be good enough. And so we got two of them and he gave me these for the wood that we're about to screw in with this and then these are for the wall he told me that these are going to hold it up really really good so I'm going to be using this wallpaper it's a gorgeous wallpaper that I got for at the dollar store for one dollar guys so in total this entire project cost me 28 dollars because in the receipt here Actually, everything was, this was 12 bucks, and then in total for everything was 27, and then this at the dollar store was $1, so it was $28 to make a floating desk. Um, that's an extra piece, I told him to cut it, so that's an extra piece that my son is gonna play with, or we're probably gonna use as a shelf for his room section, and we are going to get on with, we're gonna get on with the project. So right now what I'm gonna do is measure this, and I'm going to, tape it on here because it's self-adhesive so it's the easiest way instead of painting right princess you want to help out with the project alrighty let's stretch on the board alright let's do this um, instead of painting the board guys let's just use wallpaper it's easier it's faster and it's more beautiful so let's get on with the project guys I'll see you guys in a bit guys so what you want to do is grab the wallpaper open it up and measure it so I already stretched it out I'm going to measure it um, from here and then I'm going to use the sides to fold it over because it's perfect, guys. It folds over perfectly to the sides. And um, and so then I'm going to do the same for the other side, and it's just going to be easy breezy. So I'm just going to cut it on this side and then do the same for the opposite side, and voila, your floating desk with beautiful black and white flowers. 
So I already cut and measured, and I know it's a little bit sloppy here at the front, but um, it doesn't matter because we're going to overlap it on the other side. So then you just start peeling off the back side, and you're going to just pretty much just paste it. <laughs> oh my god, I love these easy projects. I know you're going to love them too, guys. So hold on. Guys, for a smooth surface here, you're just going to want to press it against the edges so that it doesn't have um, like a sticking out edge and just kind of press the top and then gently, slowly, you're going to paste it on the edges, on the sides. And then don't worry about this. We're going to work that out. We're going to cut the edge of that and so it doesn't look so bent and folded. And you're slowly going to work it in so that it tapes completely on the sides and it doesn't leave some sort of sticking out kind of bubble. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. And once that's done, we're going to do the sides um, and then we're going to turn it over. So for those of you who've already done lining of shelves and cabinets, you already have an idea of how to work this. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've wrapped a lot of gifts in the past, and I've even worked in the Macy's gift wrapping department <laughs> on Christmas time when I was a teen. So this was my first instinct. So you see how this here, you see how this, um, it'll be like a gift. You just have to, I just folded it in like a gift, and that will resolve this issue here. And then you just kind of bend it inwards, and then you're going to do the same when you when you wrap the other part, the other side of it. So make sure it's really flat. So that is what it looks like on the sides. All right, so now we're gonna put the, the wallpaper on this side. All right guys, I ran out of, <laughs> I ran out of wallpaper. So I did the best I could. I, um, I put the rest of it in the center. And then I just cut the remaining pieces um, that were on the sides and I put them on the corners, on the edges. And so there's just these pieces remaining and that, that is where I'm going to put the brackets. And so it's going to be like this, guys, like that. But anyways, however it is, I will figure it out, but they are going to go here. And we're going to screw these in and then I'm going to screw the rest on the wall. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And of course, my drill decided to die on me, so it's charging right now, um, but this is what you're going to use. You're going to use this head right here. So you're going to use that one, and you're going to use these screws right here. And these screws are the flathead Phillips. But first what you're going to do is you're going to hammer it in, and uh, just to kind of uh, give it a little bit of a, a head start, and then you're going to drill it. All right, so that's what you're going to do, guys. All right, guys, so I found a perfect spot to put my desk. I'm going to put my desk right here. So that's where I'm going to end my project. Right now I'm going to put these anchor screws in, in the wall, and it says it's easy. We'll see how easy it is. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, after much hard work, uh, we are done. What do you think? So... This stool, I found it um, outside of an abandoned home um, with all the stuff thrown outside. I know it's like a bit raggedy, but I'm going to work on this too. I'm going to do a DIY uh, stool remodeling, I guess, <laughs> renovation. So I'm going to just grab a, one of those, you know, one of, the, one of those scrapers, those wood, whatever you call those, um, and repaint it, revamp it up. I'm going to put like little flowers and designs on the sides, whatever. But anyways, that's the stool that goes with my desk. This is my floating desk, you guys. What do you think? Let me know what you think. And yeah, of course, I'm going to work on uh, obviously the rest of the stuff. Don't look at these holes here. These are uh, my failed attempts. <laughs> Guys, this is it. And if you liked my easy, breezy, floating DIY desk, do it yourself for 28 bucks. This wallpaper was a dollar at the dollar store. Give it a huge thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what other DIY you would like for me to do. Like I said, I found this on Pinterest. Um, this wasn't the exact uh, replica of the model that I found on Pinterest. It was just an idea that I found. I'm going to put the link down below of the idea that I found because the one that I found had those wires going all the way up to the ceiling. But obviously, I can't find... I mean, it's just too much work. The ceiling is really high up. Um, it's about 10 feet high. So, I mean, it's just going to be 
pointless to do that so I decided to do this let's see how well this holds up guys because that wall seems to be pretty weak as you can clearly see it's very weak uh, it's holding up pretty sturdy right now <laughs> let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next run peace